What's the crack, lads and ladies around the world? My name is DB Geek, and yes, welcome back to Elden Ring. I know what you're thinking, DB Geek. You don't do Elden Ring playthroughs. Yeah, I know I don't. I, I really don't. I've done one episode, and I was trying the game for the first time, and I was awful at it. But I just want to firstly express my feelings towards this game. I have never had this much fun in a video game since The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I've never gotten this level of satisfaction in learning a video game in a very long time. Elden Ring is one of the most brutal, most unforgiving video game experiences I've ever had. And you're probably saying to yourself, but DB, why would you play that? Well, I learned that this genre, it punishes you, yes. But if you persevere and you continue that punishment to the point where you can surpass it, get better at it, or get good, as they like to say, this becomes one of the most satisfying games to complete. As you can see, I'm about to finish this. I'm about to end this. I'm about to beat my very first from software game ever and i'm very proud of myself and this is my character here i named him sparta <laughs> after the legendary dark knight sparta from the devil may cry games and i'm in love with this game i truly am and as you can see from the map i've been all over i know there's still so many sites of grace to discover but i've been everywhere i've done as many side quests as i can do and today Today, I'm going to beat the game. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to record myself beating the game because this deserves a video. So here I am. I'm a hundred and... I can tell you exactly right now. I'm 115 hours into this game and I'm level 173. I don't know a lot of you want to see my stats as well. This is what I'm looking at right now. Um, as you can see, I, may, I mainly went for a strength build. Uh, which is something that I've been looking to do because it's something that I'm used to in most games is like hacking and slashing, getting stronger and just wielding awesome weaponry. As you can see, I'm wielding these two swords here and I can show you what they're called. There's the Health and Steeple. I have this one at plus nine. I really like this great sword. I actually love the great swords in this because they have great stagger. And I also have the Sword of Milos, an absolutely OP sword that I love so, so much now to finish the game. Um, I'm also on the hunt to get the platinum trophy in this game and that shows how dedicated I am to this game and I don't know how many endings I'm going to be able to get with this playthrough but you'll see any endings that I don't get I'll probably just find a video on and react to so here it is lads I've been really nervous about this I've been putting this on the long finger um, but here it is the final boss I'm about to experience this for the first time I don't know how much I'm going to struggle here. It's probably going to be difficult considering it's the final boss. But I did defeat Melania. Blade of Mikola. So I'm sure this should be a walking apart. Oh my god, what happened to her? Jeez. Look at that. Is that a great rune? Whoa. Wait, red hair now? Oh shit, this just got so real. The music in this game is flawless, by the way. Wow. Final boss time. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be great. Let's go. I'm not sure if I want to use summons. I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't want 
panic roll either. I need to get used to this. We good, we good, we good. It's okay, it's okay, I'm gonna have to heal now. It's an AoE. Okay, he takes a lot of damage. Hang on. He deals a lot of damage, I should say. Okay, just want to heal, just want to heal. Let's buff this sword. Alright, we good, we good, we good. There's a cliff there. We almost have him. Oh, what's this? Bro, what's this? Oh, fuck. That was awesome. Dude. This dude. That's some AoE attack. Come at me, Radagon. Whoa. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. It's not all good. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I didn't do too badly there for a first attempt. Radagon of the Golden Order. This is such a cool boss fight. Oh, but definitely not a difficult one, but such a cool one. The delay on the attacks is unbelievable. Bro! That was close. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go now. I'm dead. Never mind. Yep, I'm dead. Whoa! It's all good. I can get him. Some of these attacks are very hard to read, and there's a lot of AoEs. Oh! Okay, he's going for the kill straight away, this guy. He won't even let me heal. What an arsehole. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. No, 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 no. That one's a hard one to time. Bro, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. See, I know they're... Oh no, here's a delayed one. Ah! <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> no, there's a projectile. See? Oh god. Bro, what the fuck? There's a delay. He likes delaying his attacks. It's all good. We're good. No, we're not. Ah, that one's so delayed. Ah! The projectiles. Oh. He doesn't want me hitting him. Bro. I don't remember him being this aggressive at the first attempt. He's so aggressive. What the fuck is that? Bullshit with the teleport. Come on. Fair game here. Don't see me teleporting. I'm just rolling. What the fuck was that? No, bro. I actually freaking had him. <laughs> Deep breaths. I choke so much with these games, man. I, even just getting that close freaks me out. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to crash under pressure. But I know I can do it, man. I, I know I can beat this guy without a summon. Okay. He just... Oh, God. He just... Yeah, he's got tracking on that. Doesn't he? Oh, he's... <laughs> right, so what I've learned with this character already is his quick attacks, they're, they're easy enough to dodge. He's got attacks that he holds, which a lot of bosses like to do. Uh, they like to take their time to bring the, the hammer down. Um, but also, he 
he's got tracking in almost all of his attacks. So it doesn't matter like where you are, he'll almost like <laughs> he'll heat seek you and smack you in the face. So attack. Roll and roll and then roll. Ah, he didn't roll. Why didn't he roll? Roll, roll, attack. Roll. Ah, too late. Oh, I thought it was too late. Roll. Oh, roll. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's be having ya. Oh, no. He's doing it. He's doing it. Don't get greedy. Don't get fucking greedy. I got greedy. That was such a good attempt. That's exactly what we want, dude. I was even calling when to roll. I'm proud of myself. I've come a long way with these games, man. I've come a long way. And do you know what particular franchise I have to thank um, for my experience with timing and stuff is Kingdom Hearts. I learned a lot about timing-based games, especially combat, with Kingdom Hearts. Can't get the stagger on him, man. Speaking of stagger. Oh, what a combo. Oh! No! I'm choking! That's total bullshit, that. Isn't it? Oh, time the roll on it. Terribly. There we go. Uh-oh. He's doing a thing. Oh, God. Not that thing. Shit, bro. Come on. No, what? Oh, it's such a delayed attack. All right, fine. I'm going to use the summon. I'm going to use the summon. I'm going to use the summon. I know I can probably beat him without a summon, but I want to, I don't want this video to be really long. The summon, I don't mind summons, but sometimes I just like to challenge myself, you know? Right, try again. If I don't beat him this time or even come close, I'll use a summon. That fair? That fair? Come on, that has to be fair, right? Uh oh. Oh, nice! <laughs> so you kind of have to be away from it all together to get away from that one. Last time, I promise. Last time. That's it. There's that second attack I keep forgetting he does. Alright, we're maxed out now. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck out of here with that. Oh. Oh, what? The thing explodes. That's total shit. And there it is. Death. Right, we're using the summon. So we're going to use Mimic Tear. And uh, hope for the gosh darn best. It should be much easier because the aggro is going to be divided in two now, so... Oh, Jesus. I wasn't expecting them to track me there. Oh, he just changed his mind and went for me. Bro. Mimic. <laughs> Come on, do your job, bro. What do you think I summoned you? Oh, there we go. Stop him. In your face, Radagon. Watch out. Hey, oh, wait, so it hits two of us. Uh oh. I got you. Told you, he's total easy sauce now. Ouch! I shouldn't have said that. Oh, what the fuck? He's actually getting the two of us now. What dickheads? <laughs> Let me hit you. Oh, he just wanted us to hit him. I underestimated him big time. Get him, Mimic! Get him! Get him!
Get up! Fuck! Come on, Mimic! <laughs> He's nearly one shot! Ah! Ah! Yeah! Easy squeezy, baby! Let's go! Totally easy with a Mimic Summon, dude. Alright, that's hardly the boss fight, because that's... For a final boss, come on, dude. Melania was destroying my Mimic tier. In the first phase, so... What the hell? Radagon turn into a sword? Is that Loch Ness monster? What? Are you Nessie? Is that where you've been this whole time? What the? Come on, dude. What is that light? Whoa, man! The artwork and the imagination that is, that goes into this game is on a whole other level, man. It's, it's truly amazing. This is so cool. We got sword though. Dude, what the hell is this? This is stage two? Or is it a totally different fight? Oh, I think it's a different fight. I can't see, I can't see, I can't freaking see, bro. I actually can't see right now. What the hell was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What even was that, dude? There was like a solar beam or something that came from the sky and just killed me. Oh my god, that is stage two. Do you know what I might actually do? I might actually create, uh, equip a great rune if I have one. God, do I even have one? Oh my god, I have one? Are you serious? And, uh, I'll use my, uh, my rune... On oh, my rune, I, I, I'll, I can't speak. I'm gonna use a great rune by using the rune arc. Oh, got him halfway. We got him halfway. Right, it's just one of those annoying boss fights that are just... It's so hard to hit, which is kind of irritating. I'm not gonna lie. God, Black Knight takes a lot of health at the start. A bit of bleed damage there. Jesus, Black Knight teeth, nice with all that damage. Fuck! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna run this way. Whoa, did I avoid it? I totally avoided it. I am an absolute beast. I did not avoid that though, because I'm not a beast. I take it back. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm dead. I'm dead! No, I'm not. It's alive. Black Knife is still alive too. What is that? The galaxy? Whoa, it's so beautiful. Ah! Yeah, I don't like that at all. Shit. We're so dead, bro. Such a beautiful fight. <laughs> I was more blinded by its majesty than anything else. Right, let's. Uh, <laughs> fuck. That's so hard, man. I'm gonna try Mimic Tear again. Black Knight done a lot of damage at the start, though. Bloody hell. We almost had him halfway at the very beginning of the fight. Fuck. Mimic Tear, where are you? 
Help me! Help me! Dead. I, I hear something. Yep! I don't know what that is! Fucking laser beams! Let's buff stuff. That's not health, is it? What the hell is that? Why don't I have any healing spells? God damn it! Who oh got? Okay. It's our. Oh, mimicked here! Why must you go down like this? Okay, I'm gonna run over here. Hello, friend. Hello, Loch Ness monster. And I'm dead. All right, we don't we don't all right considering the disadvantages I had in that. One of them being mimic tier was not equipped with two swords, which is something that you need to do. Beautiful. Just to fight the fire, and we're all we're all good. And to fight that, Jesus! Oh my God! I made the mistake. <laughs> of getting way too greedy. I was like, tail, 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 tail. <laughs> right, this is what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to rest here. Um, flasks. Allocate flask charges. I can give myself 13 flasks. I literally don't even need that many. And if I use my Mimic tier, I don't actually need any at all. This is true. Yeah. So I have 14 flasks. Like, I don't know why I didn't just do that in the first place. No! <laughs> you have to be fucking shitting me, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that is so annoying. I was doing really well. Actually, do you know what? The second phase is actually pretty easy now. Yeah, his attacks are actually pretty easy. You just don't lock on to him. Literally, that's it. You don't lock on and you're fine. I don't like these attacks, bro. I can't see a meter. Fuck! I can't see him. I might have to give up. Oh shit, run. Good. That's it, Mimic here, that's it. Deal the damage. That is it, dude. That is it. This is what we want. Let's get that. Okay, he's gonna do this thing. Mimic here, you need to survive this, bro. We have this. Do that stupid attack you do. Come on. Yeah, do that, do that, do that. Three? Come on, Mimic. You need to survive, dude. You need to keep this in clutch. Okay. 
Okay, we just need to get close now. We can finish this. Come on. Mimic is even still alive. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Heal up. Okay. Okay. You can do the thing again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, bro! What the fuck? Shit. Just run. Just run, just run, just run, just run. We're so close, dude. Just one attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Fuck yeah! Let's go! Nice! Took a lot of dirt on my robes from that! God slain! <laughs> we got the Elden Remembrance! Oh my god! I'm gonna pass some time until morning and then I'll decide what to do. Now this is where it gets a bit complicated. I need to figure out how I can do to get, get the multiple endings in one playthrough. Okay, so I may have done something that I shouldn't have done. I embraced the three fingers, which gave me the, the frenzy. Which I think may have ne negated the other endings, even though I have done previous quest lines. This could be annoying now. I think I can get rid of this though. Um, shit. Okay, let me see. There is something I can use. It's a needle I got. This. Subdues a once accepted frenzied flame. So if I use this now. I'm not going to be able... Wait, I can't use it? I can't use this here? Okay, so this is what I might need to do. I might need to go to a different location to activate this. So bear with me, lads. Two seconds. Alright, so it seems... I've I done a bit of research there. Um, since I have embraced the three fingers, I have to get the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending first. Now, there is a way of getting rid of the Frenzy, which I will do as well. Um, after I reload the save file because I want to see all the endings, but this I think is considered the bad ending So let's have a look. I hope I hope I can do this right. Here we go Did I die? Wait, was that my face? Did I just become Ghost Rider? What the? What the hell? The sun is on my shoulders. What? Did I do? I became the bad guy. I became the villain. I got the Lord of Frenzy Flame ending. Nice. Okay, we're back here now. So now we need to get rid of the Frenzy. Now, apparently this is where you use the needle. So if we go to equipment, 
and actually go to the needle that we got from the Milliketh quest line, um, which is this one here. We should be able to use it. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Yes. Okay. So we're no longer frenzied. It seems. So here's another ending. Look at this. This is for summoning Rani. This is after doing the Rani quest line. Oh. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Wow. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all. Reaching the great beyond. Look at that, dude. The, this game is gorgeous. The, the artwork, the, the imagination that went into this is just on a different level. Doubt and loneliness. As the path stretcheth into darkness. Well then, shall we? Rani's quest line in this game My fair consort eternal. is one of the most interesting quests. Probably one of my favorite quests that I've done. We got the Age of Stars ending. Boom, there it is! That's such a cool ending! Now we have another ending to get, which I think is like the normal ending. There's a, there's several different endings to this game, lads. I don't know which ones actually give you the trophies. Maybe all of them do. I don't know. We have Touch Fractured Marika. So there's no, there is no other um, ending to do except this one. For me, anyway. I know there's multiple endings, so. Let's do it. Oh, hang on. Mend the Elden Ring or use Mending Rune of Death Prince. Okay, there's two options here. Alright, let's go with this one. This is one this one was from the Fia quest line. Another amazing quest line. This game is filled with such great quests, dudes. Oh, I'm so glad I put so much time into this game. Look how cool my character looks, man. Straight from Devil May Cry, dude. Is that just gonna stay on? Bit of super glue, sir. Sure. That's all it took. Bit of super glue, done the job. The 
fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. Is this a good ending? In our home, across the fog, the lands between. I'm on a throne, dude. The age of the Duskborn. The Duskborn. We got the Elden Lord trophy. Oh my god, dude. What? This is incredible. Okay. Next one, next one, next one. So now we can mend the Elden Ring. This is it. This is the normal ending. This is similar to the last one. Oh, look. It looks different. Yeah, it's different. It's not the same symbol. It's literally the Elden Ring logo. It's the Elden Ring. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord in our home across the fog the lands between I'm on a throne again aren't I our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture an age of fracture now. Boom. That's every ending. No. Oh my god, dude, we did it! We did it! I don't know if there's anything else. I feel like there is other stuff at the end, but I'm going to skip this anyway. And there isn't anything else I can do. So, next thing we want to do, since we've done all the gameplay stuff, is I'm going to see if there's other endings that we can react to. So, give me two seconds. Alright, lads. So, here we have um, all six known endings. Um, apparently, these are the six that are known so far. Um, there's probably others... That people haven't figured out yet, which is crazy because that's how that's how amazing and big this game is. Um, but I do believe the first one is Age of Stars. Okay, so this is the dung era ending. Right. Yeah. Use or is it? Yeah, this is the dung eater ending. I haven't seen this one, so let's have a look. Fully committed with the Dung Eater uh, armor. Similar to previous endings we've done.
Oh. Oh. That's the... That's the curse? The disease. The fallen leaves tell a story. Oh God, look at that. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall. The reviled curse that defined our age. Oh, God. The blessing of despair. That's a really bad ending, is it? So, I've never even met Golden Mask. Uh, I tried finding him in my quest, but I feel like I was just too far in. Whoa. Look at that outfit. A lot of the endings are very similar. Lord of Frenzied Flame and Rani's ending seem to be the most different so far. What does this mean now? The fallen leaves tell a story. Of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall the age. Of order. The age of order? It's not that different. Like, I, he just. Your man just changes what he says. Alright, so there's other. Okay, what's this one? So this is after getting the Lord of Frenzied Flame. Ending. Oh my god, is that... Torrent? Did we kill Torrent? We killed Torrent. Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. She opened your dry. To deliver you what is yours. Are you talking Destined about destined death? I was gonna say, are you talking about death? What? That just oh, there's my video right there. <laughs> That's crazy. So we killed Torrent as well. That is an awful ending. Oh my god, dude. We freaking did it. I'm actually really, really happy with that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I did it. I beat my very first Soulsborne game. Actually, I didn't just beat it. I... Oh my god. I have 40 out of 42 trophies. 
What ones am I missing? So I'm just missing the platinum and I bet you it's the legendary armaments. God damn it. If anybody wants to help me get a legendary armament that I'm missing, I believe it's actually one that's found here in the capital. And since the capital is in ash and ruins now, I actually can't get the weapon. That's how much I love. I could have platinum this game. All I needed was one legendary armament and I have it. I'm going to count that as a platinum. I'm going to count that as a platinum because look, it's just one weapon that I missed out on and that was it. I would have got it. I would have got both trophies and that was it. It would have been done. I would have got the platinum. That would have been such an epic addition to the video, but it is what it is. So as you can see, lads, I've I put a lot of time and effort into this game because I loved it. And it's so weird because I was one of those people that wasn't hyped for this game like at all. I just didn't care too much about it. And this this is why this is so sincere and this is genuine when I say that this game is truly special and I think it is a gateway for for new players to try the Soulsborne series and genre. It is a game that gives you so much options and lets you decide how you play. And it also lets you decide what way you want to take in the story. Because you can play this game and just ignore the story. And you don't even need to listen to the story or follow the story. Just play the game because it is it is fun enough to enjoy. Um, and it'll keep you engrossed in it. Because the gameplay is fun. The bosses are, in crazy, are incredible. And some of the dungeons and caves that you find are terrifying. And you just can't help yourself but explore. The game is beautiful, it's stunning, it's filled with so much, and there is still so much more to find. For me, even, with all of the stuff that I've done in the game, it is amazing. And I could, like I said at the start of the video, I haven't played a game quite like this since Breath of the Wild. And playing this now and putting the amount of hours that I have into this, I know for a fact, like it's not even, it's not even up in the air right now. There is no contest. It doesn't matter what's coming out this year, I guarantee you. Elden Ring is going to get game of the year. God damn it, what a game. So there you are, lads and ladies. That is my experience through Elden Ring. I know I didn't do a, a full playthrough on it or anything like that. You've seen the beginning of my journey, which is just the start and me just messing around and trying to come up with a nice video of, that will entertain you guys into somebody that genuinely played the game, put a lot of time into it, and truly enjoyed it. What an experience. Anyway, boys and girls, that's going to be it for me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Anyway, that's going to be it for me, lads. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. And I'll see you dudes in my next Soulsborne video. See you later, dudes.